So here's my problem statement. Heavy rain comes down, channels off all this concrete next door, pools here, sinks, and then leaks through a couple really small cracks in the foundation over here. It only leaks when there's excessive rain and excessive pooling right here. Now, options. You'd think, well, the house would be graded so that all this runoff goes somewhere, and you'd be wrong. So my options are, the grade actually goes up to the street, which is very helpful. It's very flat here. And then once you get down the bottom there, there's a tight, uh, a slight uh, slope down, very small. I thought about running four inch PVC straight across the lawn to the other side where it does dip down, but in actuality there's a hump in the yard and there's only, uh, I would only realize two inches of drop. And that's, uh, that's a pretty tight margin. So plan B, the least ideal, is to run a, a four inch perforated PVC French drain from basically the gate where it starts to pool right past there, about 10 feet away from the house and dig a, uh, a big honking hole right here for a drywall. I don't like the idea, but I think it's going to be done. A very light rain the night I began digging uh, really highlighted the problem. So the plan was <clears throat> to put a big drywall right here. It's huge, 150 liters, big hole. I've slowly been chipping away at the uh, at the trench. It's not quite graded correctly yet, but plot twist. What do I find down here? The existing corrugated pipe. And then I wonder, well, where could that be going? And I, uh, I noticed that it's, it's completely clogged with mud. There's no cap on the end and there's no fabric. There's a, well, there's a little bit on the end here, but somebody was very lazy putting this in there. <clears throat> so I jam the hose down in there, run water for five minutes. It seems to be disappearing somewhere. No idea where. I, mean, I thought maybe just a, a long pipe, perforated pipe, and it would just sort of dissipate out into the yard or something along those lines. No. As I'm packing up for the day, I hear trickling. And it actually goes in here. Plot thickens. So where does that go? I have been running water down here. Two garden hoses, steady, 25 minutes. I went down to my sump pump, my sump pit, not a drop. Where is it going? This one also drains, but not as quickly. So I haven't found any pipes connected to this one. And this sump basin, I've even taken the pump out for the moment while I investigate because this level of water hasn't changed in two and a half years. I've never heard the pump run or the level change. So those weeping tile corrugated pipes are not coming here. So by process of deduction, elimination, they're going directly to the street. Is that a thing? 
it would sure be nice not to have to dig a hole for a uh, enormous uh, drywall. Things that make you go, hmm. It's enormous. If I can get around digging a hole for that, life is going to be much better. So with much Googling, trying to prove or disprove the theory of the window well uh, pipe going to the weeping tile, which in turn goes directly to the sanitary sewer, I came across two cities' water plans, and both indicated that it seemed to be possible in southern Ontario that this would be the case. So... I called up my city's water department and they were flat out, no, we don't do that. And to their recollection, they have never done that. So back to square one. So at the very least, I wanted to know, I wanted to confirm that this window well pipe went directly to the weeping tile. So in my head and all my Googling, I would expect to hit a T-junction at the bottom and then the pipe would shoot off and eventually meet my sump pit. So with the help of a Amazon endoscope camera, which is very difficult to control, <laughs> I uh, stuck it down the, uh, the seven feet of uh, window well pipe to find uh, that is not the case. It is just a dirt bottom, so I'm still puzzled as to how uh, the water gets down. I guess it's just through some gravel and maybe dirt and whatever's fallen in there over the past 35 years. And I did find some uh, examples uh, online showing that uh, this is also a, a way that it is done where it would terminate in soil or gravel and then just let that leech into the weeping tile so it's still a bit of a mystery but slightly clearer after much pondering i decided to do a test i'm going to connect this french drain directly to that window well pipe that goes down to well, eventually to the weeping tile and see if when i get a large enough rainfall does it actually end up in the sump pit? So I found out why the water hasn't been draining or only just a trickle. It's full of mud, 40 years of mud. And no obvious way to connect to the down drain. It just sort of butted up against it and hoped that some seeped through the uh, fabric and the mud. We need to fix this. Okay, so what we have, corrugated pipe buried 35, 40 years ago, from down there, over here, down there, and just butted up against 
this pipe and I don't know if I broke the fabric or if the fabric was left actually no the pipe was below the fabric so I broke the fabric with my with my shovel so it was butted up how well it was going into the pipe it was going into the pipe when I rammed some water down there but obviously not much is going to get through that so plan of attack this is going to get cleaned up I'm going to dig out the trench and grate it Let's make a T right here so we come in from both sides and it's all going down there going down to the perimeter drain and then going wherever it goes it's not the sump pit because the sump pit level never changes so it's going somewhere well it's not the interior sump pit whether there's an exterior concrete one that goes to the storm drain I don't know so I need to decide how to splice into this without damaging already very brittle corrugated pipe try to fit in a T or lots of gravel lots of fabric and just butt it up against it like it was it just make sure the dirt doesn't get in this time so many questions so many questions Okay, take two. So what do we got? We've got the 90 degree. It's gonna allow the water in from the, from the incline here. Got a replacement section of hose that goes up to the window well, covered in uh, drainage fabric. Got some very expensive, very ineffectual uh, waterproof Gorilla Tape to hold everything in place while I get, uh, get it in there and get the, uh, the gravel around it to hold it there. This, this stuff, it's not even tacky. I could stick I stick it against my skin and it falls right off so I don't know worst gorilla tape ever it says waterproof and it says like extra strength this and that garbage Now, two months later, through hundreds of hours of searching Google, dozens of hours watching YouTube, and uh, probably a dozen trips to Home Depot back and forth changing my mind on parts, it's all getting, it's all coming to fruition, uh, sort of as I had 
envisioned. So far, so good. And the fact that it worked <laughs> without the pipe in there and just the ditch uh, channeling the water where it's supposed to go, I suspect this is going to work just fine. We'll see. Well, my back hurts, but 80% uh, of the yard of gravel that I got <clears throat> is now in the ground and proving that uh, online French drain calculators are pretty much spot on. I was a little bit surprised. We have three drains with a T right there going down to the main pipe have an extra drain clean out right here i cut out about four feet of the old pipe replaced with the new pipe you can't see it it's too dark and there is a t-junction about three feet down four feet down lots of uh drainage fabric to keep the mud out like the old uh, unlike the old pipe And all I need now is a uh, biblical amount of rain to test it. And as I walked back here, the Amazon guy was dropping off my brand new Liberty sump pump with battery backup on my front porch. Well, how unexpected. <laughs> it's uh, pouring rain out. And I just checked in here. It, it was not like this an hour ago, but the rain has picked up. And you can actually see the little current of water forcing itself in through the, uh, the very small holes in the side of the tub. And the, uh, the level an hour ago was at that black mark right here. And we can see... Holy smokes. Oh, you're kidding me. It has risen to where my fingers are from that black mark in an hour. That's, uh, that's over six inches. That's about seven or eight inches. Well, the project can proceed because I think the mystery is solved. The sump pit does... A, once the volume reaches a certain amount, it absolutely reaches the, uh, the sump pit. I guess that's what I thought, but I just hadn't witnessed it yet. I think my sump pit needs more holes in the side. That, uh, that doesn't seem to be very much. That water seems to want in. sump pump from Amazon has arrived so I had to finally uh, poke a hole in the side of the house to uh, get the water out and while the deck camera didn't come out it resulted in me scoring about a two inch wide opening in a brick and then hammering it out with a hammer and chisel I just popped a piece of pipe in there and threw in some cement and sealed the inside so that's there forever Next we'll be plumbing the uh, sump pump inside and digging more along this line. Joy. So the mission now is to replace this, which went to that, which went to that floor drain with 
this, which will go to that, which will go to that outside into a 20 foot pipe into the yard. All before we get more heavy rain. Because it won't be finished tonight. Everything's connected and cemented up until the uh, check valves dry fit and that's the last piece of pipe I had handy and it's going up there. All the glue has dried and is the, the sump pit has now been filled with enough water for a test and I'm gonna uh, there's no pipe on the outside just uh, just the butt end aimed at the neighbors so this is going to be the firing of the test cannon directly at the neighbors and we will see if any of the pipes blow themselves apart uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it emptied the pit, but we have a leak on one of the fern coves. And I guess that's going to just leak all the way back down all the water that's in the pipe. Time for a repair. And the digging has begun. So far, kinda so good. I'm unsure of the end game though, because as we get down there, there's absolutely nowhere to go anywhere within, well, anywhere closer than the road to hit daylight. So I'm thinking maybe a five or 10 foot section here, probably five, because that's a lot more digging. Uh, perforated pipe buried in gravel and just hope it leaches and a pop-up drain right at the end of that which would still be a tiny bit lower than where the water enters the pipe into the ground here so uh, I'm guessing hopefully it all goes downhill which the pipe is is sloped down ever so slightly it all hits the perforated pipe and either leaches or in really heavy rain pops out and then eventually the pipe drains so who knows we'll see completely clogged 40 years of crap from the roof there was much measuring cutting Measuring again, recutting, refitting, fiddling, and lots of whatnot. And shall we not forget the swearing? But it is together, and the water drains down. And it's about uh, 
I think it gets about 18 feet from the house, so that's a start. Next, I think, is perforated pipe to uh, let it leach out. It was meant to be a, a quick disconnect of a single pipe, insertion of a, a new pipe and a T turned into a complete uh, gut job where I had to remove everything from here over and redo it and hopefully get it right. A uh, few shark bites on there as well, but uh, a lot of, lot of soldering to get all this back into place. I've got the valve, I haven't got the, the final pipe to the, uh, the sump pump connected yet. But uh, I've got the valve on there and I've got it turned off, so time to see what blows apart. Start slow. <laughs> All right, nothing pouring water yet. Let's open her up. Wide open. Water powered sump pump, final live tests. We're going to turn the water on to the pump. We're gonna go over to the sump pit. see approximately where the level is and then I'm gonna run it down until it starts sucking air and then to empty out the pit we're gonna plug in the regular electric That is one robust water solution.